Pat, like, by the way, the tweet of the week was hardware's back, baby. You know, you I find know out. I saw uh, that, dude. You totally dangled that in uh, in front of me, and you knew that was like red meat for me. I put that juicy bit on there, and I just laid it on the thing. I even at you, I put it out there, and I added you. I just knew you were gonna you were gonna write something and make that blow up a little bit more. But also, I mean, look, how long were you kind of like worried that you were getting hidden in the closet? You know, we expanded our business uh, for years, uh, focusing more and more on software. But it wasn't about software instead of hardware. It was software needs hardware, and it's become symbiotic. And now having some hardware chops is actually cool again. And Google and Microsoft and other companies are actually leaning in more to hardware engineers because the fact is, is that if the hardware is not right, um, all the software development in the world isn't going to fix that. So anyways, sidebar, another red meat tweet that came out this week was that Google turned its, uh, apparently has turned away from from going forward with the MI300 as part of its offering path. And uh, that seemed to get buzz and create some concern and some interesting conversations on Twitter. Yeah, it did. And uh, I love when I get attacked on uh, on Twitter. It, it's pretty good. But uh, so this this came from uh, a Dan uh, Neistead uh, tweet. By the way, Dan, if you're, you are ever watch the show, you should get on the show. You should talk about this. Anyways, he cited the information article. Essentially, you know, Dan, as you said, Google, uh, Google Cloud, or and Google are 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 saying they're not doing that. So a couple things going on here. First of all, uh, Google didn't said they didn't say they would never use AMD MI. They just said we're always looking for the best technology uh, uh, out there, and for this round. Uh, they're using their own homegrown and and, and Nvidia. Um, the other thing that I think was missed in the context is literally one of the largest hyperscalers with the largest data estates, Meta, was not included in the conversation, which uh, made it incomplete. So when I step back, AMD actually has two out of the four U.S. based hyperscalers uh, that that are uh, adopting it. And by the way, I said something, I said that they're sold out, which got a lot of people uh, uh, going. Let me, let me give you the double click of what I mean by that. What I mean is spoken for, okay, reserved, okay? You can still buy an MI300 uh, through the channel if you want, and those were reserved for the channel. But when you look at the giant volumes and the ramp that AMD had to do uh, for its two out of four hyperscalers. And oh, by the way, Dell, Lenovo, and HPE, uh, I think that the company is taking a measured approach on who it makes commitments to. Uh, having worked at AMD for 11 years, I, I saw sometimes that AMD would get into the situation where they would give uh, a little bit of processors to a lot of different people, and that left a lot of them dissatisfied. Now, in CPUs, it's easier because the the work that goes into the software uh, uh, isn't zero, but it's nothing compared to the software work you have to do to stand up uh, a new data center uh, AI GPU. So. I stand by my belief that uh, MI300, for the most part, is is all reserved. Uh, you still can uh, buy it, and I think when you look at the commitments, and I'm reading the, um, I'm going to read right off the transcript from the last uh, earnings is 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 they said from a supply standpoint, uh, Lisa thinks that her supply chain partners can ship more than three point more than 3.5 billion. And if we map uh, what AMD's commitments were or sales for previous year were 400 million. And then that uh, there was a forecast that went to 2 billion for this year and then 3.5 billion. I believe when it's all said and done, uh, AMD will probably be around uh, five billion dollars in MI for the year. And a reminder that MI300 is the fastest ramping product to a billion in the history 
of AMD. Pretty amazing when you look at what Opteron and Epic uh, did. So, yeah, just trying to clarify that. And, hey, hit me up on the comments if you think I'm uh, completely uh, uh, out to out to lunch there. Well, there's a sell-in, sell-out, sell-through, right, aspect of all of this. And, you know, when you have channel partners that are buying and building uh, servers based on an architecture, they want to put some on the shelf. So AMD sold, AMD sold them. So, I mean, it's all, it's all a technicality, right? But the thing about Twitter uh, acts is that, you know, for those bullies and, 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 and uh, toxic people, it's a, it's an absolute, it's heaven for them. It's heaven for toxicity, but it's also, you know, it can be a good debate. So that was somewhere in between. Um, anyways, uh, Let's talk, uh, you know, let me just kind of add a little bit. There's not a lot to add on this particular topic here. Um, the long and the short of it is, is that AMD, by the way, you know who ramped that Opter on? Were you around? Anybody? Was there anybody? Well, gee, I don't know. I hired the first product manager for Opteron in 2001. And um, yeah, I was yeah, there. So. And then I ran corporate marketing when uh, we did the announcement. So okay. just making sure I could give you a little victory lap here where I, could, where I could squeeze one in. Look, AMD, I mean, there's 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 two different three, two, three different forces they're fighting right now, right? You're fighting the NVIDIA force, which is <laughs> palpable. Um, you know, everybody's kind of feeling the pressure. And if you're selling your AI solutions right now, everybody's going to to get all the NVIDIA they can and, and they're going to buy. AMD was the first viable merchant silicon gpu in the market right now programmable and offering with the uh, software rockham and uh, frameworks and um it had strong demand but the cloud providers are doing their own thing the cloud providers are are all building their own ai silicon and let's not mistake for a minute they're going to offer a, a variety but they do have to focus i mean they're making big bets big investments now too um, AWS has been doing this for a while, but Microsoft and Google have now turned up the, the temperature. They are adding more. And so you got to be thinking that they're kind of going to put some rails up on how many things they want to offer because you give uh, the lowest common denominator to sales and they may not sell the, the in-house stuff. So yeah. I think there's an impact on that. Like we'll, we'll have NVIDIA because that's what everyone's kind of asking for. But on the on the secondary offering side, if it's going to be any other platform, if it's not CUDA, if it's not NVIDIA, we, we're building and selling our own higher margin for them. So I think it I think that might be the bigger force. And let's not kid. I mean, kind of like what we're seeing Intel pull off with C, with the uh, AI PCs. You can be sure they're in the background. AI is still uh, sorry. Intel is still very instrumental to all these cloud companies and they're their CPU business and, you know, with what they've offered with Gaudi 3, well, you know, while it's not the same as a full on GPU, I, I believe there's conversations about reserve capacity there too. And what I'm, if you're one of these giant cloud companies, you are thinking not just about what you're going to offer right now, you're also thinking about what you're going to be supporting over the next few years to come. So they're balancing homegrown, the demands of NVIDIA, demands, I believe, coming from Intel and having the alternative of AMD. And um, AMD doesn't always have the same size uh, to market and to push and to create demand as some of the other companies that have bigger marketing budgets. And um, in NVIDIA's case, a lot more immediate demand. 